channel, you're on Wobble Cam, we are on the M4. I'm going to Bridge End. It is Lex's birthday today. It's, Sunday, it's Monday the 31st of July. And I'm off to Bridge End to spend Lex's birthday with her. And because my morning has got away from me somehow, and I seem to have lost large chunks of the morning, which I've achieved nothing at all, I did not have time to record this video before I left home. So this video was going to be me sitting in my comfy little filming area with nice background and peace and quiet and that hasn't happened. What we've got is me sitting in the car and you'll have to put up with an element of background noise and quite a lot of wobble cam. Some bits of the M4 are made of different road surface. Why do they do that? Why do they change the roads? So if, you, if you know anyone who works on the roads and you know why some bits of road are different surface to others, can you let me know? Is it to make you check your speed in some way? Because I'm probably not get a patch of rough road, patch of smooth road. Don't quite know why. So, you know what this is, because you've seen the title. 50 Fat and Furious. I'm not furious about being 50. It was going to come. I'm very glad to have got here, to be honest. You know, lots of people don't make it today. I am furious about being as fat as I am at 50. I am furious that I have failed. 50 Fat, failing, failing furiously. How many other Fs can I get into this? I can think of a few. I am furious that I have failed to continue to lose weight and that I have in fact increased exponentially. I don't know how much fatter I look to you guys, but I see it. I look in the mirror and I see there's that fat that's back again, that bit there, this bit's back again, this had all gone and that's all back and my bum shelf has come back, you know. I've literally got a, a hip shelf that you could put a tray on. When I lie on my bed, I lie on my bed sometimes with my feet up against the wall to try and drain the fluid out of my bad leg. And now I've noticed the roll of fat that's appearing at the top of my thighs, that when, when I'm upside down, it hangs differently, obviously. <laughs> and so, here we are again, on day one. How can it be day one again? Day one version 6.0, day one version 60.0, I don't know. Day one, the repeat, it's like Groundhog Day. It is almost three years since I made that first video saying I need to do something about this. I think that was the 20th of August, although I'm not 100% sure, and today is the 31st of July, so it's almost three years. And in those three years, I lost seven and a half stone. Well, I say in those three years, I lost seven and a half stone in the first year, didn't I? And then over the next two years, I've gradually put back on a big chunk of it. In fact, Let's pop the scales footage in from this morning. We've got back on the scales because of today being day one. Let's pop the scales footage in now and then we can talk about how big that chunk is. Are you ready? Okay, every journey starts with a single step and apparently it's this one. I am 323 pounds. Three, two, three. 23 stone one pound on the scales this morning. 23 in stone. I'm, that's what I'm furious about. I'm furious that I've done that. I'm furious that I was 19 and a half stone at one point, or, or I was approaching 19 and a half stone, and now I'm 23 stone one. I am flaming furious with myself, and it's only me. Over the last few weeks, I have seen what can only be described as utter greed rear its head again. I have seen myself go back to that me who saw a pack of four cakes as being mine, mine, all mine, no share. I've seen myself resent someone wanting some of my food. The greed, the the gollumness of me over the last few weeks is is horrifying. I don't know. I don't know where that me rears its ugly head from, but it's, it is, it's, it's nasty. I don't do it verbally, I don't do it out loud, I don't cuddle my food and shout, me, mine, leave it alone, but I'm thinking it, I'm thinking it. If somebody else wants some of what I've got, I'm, I'm fighting in my head to, to, to be a decent human and share. I don't know why, I can't pinpoint any particular reason or excuse recently. Sheer greed. 
and I'm hating the way that I'm regaining the weight. I've made a calorie crush for I think it's probably five or six weeks. It's funny how the time goes fast. It's five or six weeks since I last sat in the garden and said I need to sort this out, this is ridiculous. And over those five to six weeks, I'm sorry that the um the background sound is getting louder, it's because I'm going over the Prince of Wales Bridge and so there's nothing blocking the sound from either side at the moment. Over those five or six weeks, I have self-destructed ridiculously. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm done. I'm hoping I'm done. I have got a referral about my leg. That's finally come through. I asked for that in, I think, March. Here we are in July. And this is the first step to, they're sending me to physiotherapy to have a look at my leg, when what I asked for was a scan asked for was a scan for my knees and instead I'm getting physiotherapy but apparently that's the way it's done so I've got an appointment for that on the 16th I think it is Wednesday the 16th and by the time I go to that appointment I want to be able to say to the physiotherapist yes I am on a weight loss program I am losing weight there's a big bin lorry in front and things are blowing off it into the moat that's worrying I'm sure they're supposed to secure their load better than that um, so yeah, by the time I go for that appointment, I want to be able to truthfully say, yes, I am on a weight loss programme. I asked for a weight loss referral, I think I may, you may remember me telling you that, and I've had absolutely nothing back from that whatsoever. I had that call saying that, um, that unless I was going to go to Slimming World, they weren't going to help, and I put my foot down and said that wasn't good enough, that I'd done 20 years of Slimming World, and that 20 years of Slimming World had done me no good whatsoever, whereas a year of calorie counting had helped, but now I was struggling. And they said yes they would go back and they would look at it again and I've heard nothing back so I suppose I need to chase them. But the referral for my knees is in a couple of weeks time and when I go for that as I said I want to be able to say to them honestly yes I am trying, yes I am working on that aspect of me. So I'm 23 stone, one pound. I have, today is day one again, I've filmed today's breakfast, there will be a food diary, I'm going to try and go back to the very basics do everything properly and all I can ask you guys once again is to wish me luck I'll understand if you guys don't want to watch the calorie crush because after all it's possible that it'll just be me jeffing it all up again entirely possible I'm hoping that putting it on here will bring me back to those days of feeling accountable and feeling motivated by making the video that's what I'm hoping. I don't know for sure whether it will, but I'm hoping it will. This is only a short one. What have I got to tell you? I've not told you how flat I am. I haven't got any updates, any news. I'm on my way to Lexus. It's her birthday today, but we're going to the... It's one of the lounges chains for lunch. And I've seen their menu. I know there's something on there that I can have that's not the end of the world. And tonight we're going to bingo. And apparently they do a very nice salad at the bingo. So I'm already, already looking forward to my very nice salad for bingo. It's got to be done, isn't it? It's got to be done. I have got to work on this. I'll be recalculating my calories on the TDE calculator, and I'll put the footage in from that. I'll do that on my phone and put the footage in from that. But I've always got already got a vague idea of what I'm allowed. So I'll pop that bit in now. I'll see you next week with a calorie crush update, with a food diary, and hopefully with a little bit less flab. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.